Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, but there's a catch. It is the first element that came out of the Big Bang event some 13.8 billion years ago, and it is also the simplest, consisting only of one proton and one electron, but despite its abundance, we still need to make it before using it in industrial production or as an energy source. So exactly how and why do we need to do this? Well, hydrogen is the primary fuel source in stellar nuclear fusion, where it's consistently being converted into helium, and it makes up around 70 to 75% of its mass. On Earth, however, most of it is in a form of water or hydrocarbon, carbon, so if we want to convert it into its usable gas or its liquefied form, we firstly need to isolate it, usually through a process of steam reforming or electrolysis. The first one involves exposing methane gas to high temperature steam between 700 and 1000 degrees Celsius that will initially result in a production of hydrogen, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. The subsequent water gas shift reaction will convert carbon monoxide into more hydrogen and carbon dioxide, while finally a pressure swing absorption cleans up the impurities thus leaving pure hydrogen. The second method uses electricity to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen and unlike steam reforming it can be zero emission method if the electricity comes from renewable sources. Aside from these there are other less common methods for hydrogen production but each comes with its own set of challenges. 